The budget started in 1890, and, and it was interesting because J.C. Miller just wanted to do a community newspaper in Sugar Creek, Ohio. So he started this paper, he had a press, he just wanted to keep his press busy. So he did this newspaper with the very first issue. He mailed it out west. Now, when we say out west in 1890, we were talking six to 10 miles. We were you know, talking to the next town over, Walnut Creek and Berlin and Millersburg, Ohio. What happened is, these were people that either did business in Sugar Creek or had family in Sugar Creek. So they wrote back to him and said, it is so great hearing about what's going on in Sugar Creek. I'm glad you're doing this paper. Here's what's going on in our business or in our town or with our family. And it was almost like what people do at Christmas time sometimes now and they send the family letters, except they sent those back and, and J.C. Miller published those letters then. And he realized that people wanted to hear what their friends were doing in these other communities. So he printed them the next week. And then those people in Sugar Creek liked it. They started adding letters to it, sending it back, and it just kept growing from there. We were niche publishing before that was ever a buzzword in the industry. And through the post office, within two years, this was 1890, by 1892, we had, we were, um, mailing to 18 states and over 450 post offices in just two years. And so he just knew that he was on to something. And to today, that's how the Amish follow each other, follow their families. I mean, try to think, we do 600 letters in the paper each week. And just think if you try to stay, you know, they don't have 600 family members and that around the country, but let's say you want to stay in touch with 10 family members in 10 different cities and you were trying to send a letter to them, you mail it out, then you wait a week and you get a letter back, what the cost would be in the time. But here every week they can pick this up and they see what their cousins are doing, their brothers, their sisters, their parents and everything. So it's a, it's a really special paper to commemorate I mean, just how important the post office was to this newspaper. In the beginning, with our 125th logo, we've incorporated the, the um, postmark right into, the, into it to, to just show how, how important. Another aspect of that was that in 1920, J.C. Miller sold the paper to an S.A. Smith, Sam Smith, but he went by S.A. Smith in 1920. His son started working for him, George Smith at that time, and George was 14 years old. He started in the press and he was helping with the mailing and doing all that. In 1936, S.A. Smith became postmaster of Sugar Creek, could not have the paper, and he handed it off to his son who stayed, started 1920-14 and left at 2000 when he was 94. He, he passed away in 2000, but he wrote a column in the paper up until the day that he that he died